What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel, you guys know what time it is. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Michael Jao White versus Bruce Lee. So Michael Jao White uh, was doing an interview and then what happened was that they started asking him a whole bunch of questions, like rapid fire style, and he would just have to throw out quick answers. And then one of the questions was, um, uh, who, would, who would beat Bruce Lee? And then he said, myself. And then from there, he went on to explain that, well, yeah, like he would be able to, to beat Bruce Lee uh, because of the weight discrepancy, right? Bruce Lee was at 132 pounds, right? And Michael Jao White, he's like 100, no, sorry, 200, and at that time, 235. So that's like about a 100 pound difference right there. My heart would obviously want to think, to believe that Bruce Lee would win. And on the other hand, like my experience, right, my mind, uh, the logical side of me uh, would give it more to Michael Jao White because size does matter. Um, I mean, it's not just 100 pounds, like if it was 100 pounds of fat, extra that somebody has over somebody wouldn't necessarily translate very well to fighting, you know? <clears throat> but, I mean, Michael Jao White is 100 pounds of muscles, you know, that he has over Bruce. So I think that <clears throat> it's really hard to tell, you know? So my heart would be for Bruce, my mind would be for Michael Jao White. Now, if we would throw both of them in a cage, in a sports uh, uh, combat context, then I think that Michael Jao White would definitely have the advantage because of the weight difference, because there's rules. Now, if we were to bring this, no rules, right? Like street fighting in the street and everything is allowed, then, hey, we don't know. Like I would probably, then Bruce Lee might have a better chance in my opinion. And the reason I say that is because I've seen, I, I've seen guys fight, okay? I've seen guys, I've seen a 240 pound judoka fight a 170 pound judoka. And 240 pound one got smashed by the 170. The 170, mind you, was all muscle and um, very high level, very high level. Uh, the other one, up and coming, still a uh, pretty good level, but his level isn't as, you know, cause he's younger, so he doesn't have as much experience as the other guy. When you see a guy that's 170 and, and about five, about my height, five, seven, five, eight, and then the other one's about six, six, two, 240 pounds. And the, the bigger guy got smashed like that, like in wrestling and in judo. So then you're looking at it and you're like, holy smokes. It's actually very inspiring because you're thinking to yourself, a smaller guy can beat a bigger guy. And we're talking 70 pounds here. We're not talking 100 pounds, like in the case of ja uh, Michael Jao White and Bruce Lee, but um, still 70 pounds, 70 pounds is huge. So if you had to put money on it, right? In general, the bigger guy would win. The bigger guy, the heavier guy would win. That's, there's a reason why there's weight categories and all that because the weight and size does matter, right? Like you just hit harder because of all that weight behind you. Skills, man, skills is underrated. Like there's people out there with very high levels of skill. And Bruce Lee, supposedly from what I've read, what I've heard, and you know, like what you see in the movies and all that, of course, in the movies, like, yeah, he's, he's amazing, he's super fast and all. But just from the stories I've heard, he's super <laughs> hand speed, uh, foot speed, power, agility, timing, understanding of fighting. You know, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that uh, he would definitely lose against uh, Jao White in, in a fight, <clears throat> you know? But I wouldn't say he would necessarily win either. I've seen like uh, 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 a smaller guy, 70 pounds lighter, beat up a 240 pound dude. <laughs> in grappling though, there wasn't any striking, but I'm just saying, if you could do it in grappling, you could probably do it in striking too. It depends on the skill. So, you know, so uh, that's on the logical side. And of course, in my heart, I like to believe that Bruce could beat the crap out of everybody, right? But I know that that's probably not true, but that's what I like to believe and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with that. So who would win in a fight? Uh, honestly, we don't know, we don't know. Like, uh, it could, it could, it, it, I believe, 
Like if I had to sum it up and I had to, I would just say, listen, it's, it's half, half. We don't know. We don't know. Size does matter. Yes. But so does skill. Both of them are skilled. Both of them are, um, you know, martial artists at, you know, which one actually has higher skill level. I don't actually know. It's a hard one. You know, it's, it's a really hard one, but I have seen 70 pound weight difference, smaller guy beat the crap out of, you know, bigger guy in grappling, in judo and wrestling. And it, it was, it was amazing to see, um, very inspiring. So I'm going to keep, uh, you know, working on my skill set and all. And, and eventually I want to get to that point where I'm, you know, throwing a guy, throwing guys around who are much bigger, uh, than me and who are just as skilled, so to speak. Actually, no, can't be just as skilled because they would beat me. But my skill level higher and their skill level is just a little bit lower, but their weight much higher. So, you know, it is a possible thing, guys, to be smaller and beat the living crap out of like uh, a bigger guy. But the skills have to be there. And um, you know that comment that he made? I know there's a lot of people that are butthurt regarding that and, and they make a big deal out of it. But um, I don't see it that way at all. I mean, he even said it in another interview where he kind of apologized for that, for saying that, but he was explaining how, well, essentially, if you're a fighter and you had that mindset, of course you could beat anybody, right? Like anybody who's, who's put in front of you, regardless of if that person is uh, uh, supposedly better than you or a legend or whatever, you're still gonna be in your mind thinking that you're able to beat him. And I think that's the right mindset to have as a fighter, right? as a martial artist it's like whoever is put in front of you you're not going to be like oh man i'm going to lose no you're going to be like i'm going to kick this guy's butt and that's just the way it's going to go down that's all so i don't think it was coming from a cocky place he came from a more logical perspective when he said that on that first interview um you know regarding oh yeah yeah of course i could be bruce lee because of the size difference and all that and he there's 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 um there's truth to that size does matter like i said and yeah but at the same time, so does skill. Who has more skill? Well, we don't know. Bruce is dead, so you know we'll never find out. And even if he was alive today, he'd be old as shit. He'd be like in his 70s or something like that. So I mean, uh, is that it? Somebody do the math for me. <laughs> uh, Jao White could win. Bruce Lee could whoop his ass. Who knows? We'll never know. But it's fun to talk about. So let me know what you guys think down below, guys. Would you? Do you think that Michael Jao White can beat Bruce Lee? in a street fight no rules and how would he fare in a uh you know in a cage mma style right with of course there's some rules and uh yeah let's <laughs> let's argue about it below guys all right love you so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and click on the notification bell also there's a link down below if you guys click on it it's going to bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.